हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू सेनारियो बेस्ट नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सीरीज सेनारियो फॉर टुडे इज दिस एंड हियर इज माय क्वेश्चन एज यू कैन सी इन माय सेनारियो देयर आर टू स्विचेस एंड टू पीसीज पीसी वन एंड पीसी टू पीसी वन इज कनेक्टेड विथ स्विच वन एंड पीसी टू इज कनेक्टेड विथ स्विच टू पीसी वन इज इन वी लैन टेन पीसी टू इज इन वी लैन ट्वेंटी बट बोथ आर यूजिंग आई पी एड्रेस फ्रॉम द सेम सब नेट आई पी एड्रेस ऑन पी सी वन इज टेन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट वन एंड आई पी एड्रेस ऑन पी सी टू इज टेन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट टू ना यू माइट हैव थिंकिंग प्रफुल हाउ टू डिफरेंट वी लैन डिवाइसेस कैन यूज आई पी एड्रेस फ्रॉम द सेम सब नेट लाइक पी सी वन एंड टू बिलोंग्स टू वी लैन टेन एंड ट्वेंटी बट दे आर यूजिंग आई पी एड्रेस फ्रॉम द सेम सब नेट what we have learned till now that different vlan should have different ipv4 subnet but that is the scenario by the way right see both the pcs are using ip address from the same subnet guys if multiple vlan users are using ip address from the same subnet then you cannot configure inter vlan routing but the different vlan users can have ip address from the same subnet as well but here we cannot make inter vlan routing done now the interesting part is over here on the trunk link you can see link between switch 1 and switch 2 is configured as trunk and the native vlan on switch 1 trunk interface is vlan 10 and the native vlan on switch 2 trunk interface is vlan 20 so in this case question is can pc1 and pc2 communicate with each other now look at this scenario and share your answer in the comment section just pause the video and share your answer after that you can verify your answer in case if you don't know the answer then watch this video till the end because at the last i am going to show you practically as well right in the ev evng we have same setup right so we'll see the implementation there my answer is yes pc1 and pc2 can communicate but 99% people will say no because native vlan mismatch on the trunk link right native vlan should match on switch number 1 and 2 then only encapsulation or right communication will happen between pc1 and pc2 or between vlan 10 and vlan 20 i am going to show you how pc1 and pc2 can ping even the native vlan is not same my answer is yes might be possible your answer is no if your answer is yes then check the packet flow right i am assuming guys pc1 is using a mac address a and pc2 is using a mac address b when i am going to ping 10.2 from 10.1 ping 10.1.1.2 what will happen first this machine need mac address of 10.2 my machine is going to check destination belongs to same network or different network this time it will find the network id of destination ip address it is going to be 10.1.1.0 and their own network id is also 10.1.1.0 that means destination belongs to same subnet directly my pc will generate arp message right ARP request message to resolve the MAC address of 10.2. In the ARP source MAC will be A and destination MAC will be all of broadcast and PC will forward it to my switch. My switch is going to receive it on this interface. Their receiving interface is part of which VLAN is member of which VLAN. The receiving interface is a member of VLAN 10. So you know destination is broadcast. So switch one is going to broadcast it in VLAN 10 only. Means it will forward this ARP request message, this broadcast stream from their all interface except receiving interface in VLAN 10. So is there any other interface which belongs to VLAN 10? Yes, there is one trunk link. You know, trunk port is the port which carry traffic of multiple VLAN, right? So if this is the trunk link, it means this is a part of vlan 10 also this is a part of vlan 20 also but 
when ever switch forward traffic on the trunk link it perform tagging except native vlan right so here on switch number 1 native vlan is vlan 10 which will not perform tagging switch 1 will not perform tagging with this broadcast frame switch 1 has received this broadcast message on this port this receiving interface is a part of vlan 10 it will forward from the trunk link and as this is native vlan traffic switch 1 is not going to perform any tagging it will forward as it is traffic the original frame to switch number 2 now switch number 2 is going to receive this broadcast frame on the trunk link and you know whenever switch will receive a frame on the trunk link it will check the tag val tag value to identify the vlan that this traffic belongs to which vlan and if there is no tag if there is no tagging that means this is native vlan traffic so according to switch number 2 this is native vlan traffic and native vlan on switch number 2 is vlan 20 native vlan on switch number 2 is vlan 20 and there is no tag as there is no tag switch 2 will think this traffic belongs to vlan 20 right it will receive it over here and it will forward from this port because this port is also part of vlan 20 so as it is broadcast switch 2 will send it to their all interface in vlan 20 right pc2 will receive this broadcast message and pc b will generate the reply message in the reply message again source b destination a source mac b destination mac a it will send to switch 2 switch 2 is going to receive it over here on this interface again this interface belongs to vlan 20 so as this traffic belongs to vlan 20 it will forward it from the other port which is a part of same vlan vlan 20 is there any another port which is in vlan 20 yes there is one trunk link this link is a trunk link so it will forward from the trunk link and before forwarding from the trunk link it will perform tagging except native vlan and native vlan is vlan 20 again switch to will not perform tagging it will forward the original frame this source mac b destination mac a to switch 1 when switch 1 will receive on trunk link and there is no tagging right switch is receiving untagged traffic on the trunk link it mean this traffic belongs to native vlan native vlan is vlan 10 it will forward from here to pc1 because this interface is also in vlan 10 and this way both the pc can communicate yes or no yes they can communicate but guys there are some protocols running on switches by default like your stp protocol cdp protocol so on we native vlan mis will mismatch they are going to negotiate it right switch will understand switch one will know that hey native vlan on switch number 2 is 20 and native vlan on me is 10 so it is mismatching right it will put the port in blocking state but what if you will disable these protocol stp and cdp then definitely they can communicate pc1 and pc2 can communicate pc1 will never know about the native vlan of pc no. switch 1 will never know the about the native vlan of switch 2 and switch 2 will never know about the native vlan of switch 1 right switch 1 will always think native vlan is vlan 10 i don't i will not perform tagging for vlan 10 and switch 2 will think i will not perform tagging for vlan 20 whenever switch will switch 1 will receive untagged traffic on the trunk link that means that traffic belongs to vlan 10 it will be forwarding to pc1 and whenever switch 2 will receive untagged traffic switch 2 will think that this traffic is native vlan traffic means vlan 20 it will be forwarding to switch number 2 and both pc will be communicating with each other you know on the trunk link whenever switch forward the traffic switch perform tagging but except native vlan and isl protocol does not support native vlan here i am using dot 1q protocol wait a minute let me get it here you can see i have same setup switch 1 switch 2 pc1 is in vlan 10 pc2 is in vlan 20 native vlan on switch number 1 is 10 native vlan on switch number 2 is vlan 20 and the link between switch 1 and switch 2 is configured as trunk let me configure this setup after that we'll verify the connectivity 
between PC1 and PC2. Let me access switch 1. Here I already have access of switch 1. And let me configure the scenario. Config T. Host name. I'm saying switch 1. And interface E0 slash 1. E0 slash 1 is connected with PC1. Uh, yeah. 0 slash 1 is connected with PC1. I am going to put it in VLAN 10. Switch port. Access VLAN 10. So it is creating the VLAN. Okay. And now interface E0 slash 0. I am saying switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1Q and switch port mode trunk. Switch port mode trunk and switch port trunk native VLAN. I am saying VLAN 10. Now go to switch number 2. And let me configure switch 2 as well. Config T. Interface E. Again 0 slash 1. Switch port access VLAN 20. I am going to put this PC2 in VLAN 20. VLAN 20. And uh, exit. Then interface E. 0 slash 0. Switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1Q. Switch port mode trunk and switch port trunk native VLAN 20. Here I have configured native VLAN 20. Now it will give me the error, the native VLAN mismatch error. Here, here you can see the native VLAN mismatch error. How I am getting the native VLAN mismatch error with the help of CDP protocol. Guys, if I will disable the CDP, I will even not get this log message. Correct? If I will disable CDB protocol between switch 1 and switch 2, I will not get this native VLAN mismatch error message. What this message is saying? This message is coming through CDP protocol and native VLAN mismatch. Native VLAN mismatch discover on Ethernet 0 slash 0. Oh, native VLAN 10 and 20. Right? The neighbor on the neighbor side, native VLAN is 20 and on my side, native VLAN is 10. We are getting this error. Because of this, PC1 and PC2 cannot communicate, right? Why? See the, check the spanning tree protocol on switch number one. So a spanning tree for VLAN 10. Okay, in the spanning tree protocol, both the ports are in forwarding state here. On switch number two also, you can verify this. And here as well, we are getting native VLAN mismatch error. So a spanning tree for VLAN 20. Ports are in forwarding state. And VLAN 10. There is no STP. VLAN 10 does not exist on switch number 2. Even VLAN does not exist over here. VLAN 10 is not there in the VLAN database of switch 2. And VLAN 20 is not there in the VLAN database of switch 1. Then also they will communicate. I am going to show you. Let me access PC1 and let me assign the IP address here. PC1. And let me say IP 10.1.1 slash 24. Go to PC2. And let me assign one IP here as well. IP 10.1.2. 10 10.1.2 10 slash 24. Checking. Okay. Both have assigned the IP address. Now on PC number one, I am going to say ping 10.1.1.2. Means PC2 from PC1. And you can see the result. You can see the result. Ping is working, right? Both the PCs are able to communicate with each other. How both the PCs are able to communicate with each other? We have already seen that. Right? Now, see the flow on switch number 1. So, MAC address table. You can see, switch 1 is learning MAC address of both PC, PC1 and PC2 in same VLAN. Right? Switch 1 will learn, switch 1, switch 1 is going to learn MAC address of PC2 on E0 slash 0. But PC2 belongs to VLAN 20, but switch 1 is learning it in VLAN 10. Here you can see. This, this is a scenario based interview question. Recently one of my PhD students has received this question in interview. And these are not real time scenario, right? These are just a question to test your VLAN knowledge. Interviewer often ask these kinds of question to test your knowledge and hope it is clear now if you have any question 
then please let me know in the comment section if you have any another question and you want video on that then also you can let me know in the comment section now guys if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button and don't forget to share your feedback if the video was helpful for you just say helpful it will motivate me to make more videos like this that's all for today thank you thank you so much for watching we'll meet soon in the next video